I'm gonna move some of these french fries over just a little bit so I can get to the lamb. <gasps> oh my goodness, come in here. So tender and delicate. There's even jus from the lamb in there. Oh my God, look at that. Wow, that is tender lamb. Hi friends, thank you for joining me. Today I'm in Sipnos, Greece. I am so excited to be here because this island is known to have some of the best cuisine in all of Greece. We've already been here for three days and let me tell you, this place has everything you could ask for in a Greek island. From the whitewashed buildings, narrow alleyways, cats, friendly people, and not to mention the beaches and also the hiking trails. This place is really well known for their hiking trails, but let me show you this. This is the view from our rental here in Sifnos. Isn't this just breathtaking? We are on the top of a mountain and it's really amazing what you can find on these islands that are a little less touristed, but just so much value and beauty. And I'm so excited to be here right now. I am starving and I'm ready to get some food because that's what we're here for. Let's go. We're in the village of Artemonas where we've been staying for the last three days. There's this bakery called Velu that I've been wanting to try. It's right in the center square. I got some of their marzipan candies. One of them is with the peeled almond marzipan and one is with marzipan skin on. Mmm, that's such a delicate pastry or confection really. The almond flour is so finely ground and it has this nice delicate sweetness to it while also having a very like natural almond flavor. Sometimes marzipans taste very artificial because they just really put like almond extract, almond flavoring, but that is very genuine and nice in the almond flavor. Let me try the one that is made with skin on almonds. That's lovely. It has a little bit more of a rustic flavor. They're both a very refined almond paste. I love this. Something you really notice about the bakeries here is that once you walk in, you feel like you're in someone's home. Very well kept, typically the family run and operated through many generations, and you can feel it in the pastries. These are very old school style confections and pastries that you find here. Our next stop here in the village of Artemonas is Teodoro Bakery. This is a quintessential Greek island traditional bakery. We got kulumbieles, one of our favorite cookies, a white cookie rolled in powdered sugar, a classic Greek traditional cookie. Andres's grandmother makes hundreds of these every year and they're so delicious. I'm so happy to be having them here in Sifnos. Look how beautifully wrapped these are. This label, you can see how much care and time was taken into making that. It's got such a nice like blue metallic look to it. Oh, these look so good. Wow, they're so powdery. They use so much powdered sugar on there, but I love it. It smells so good. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> so delicious. It's a white vanilla cookie. And it's got such a nice kind of biscuity cookie texture. And then the powdered sugar is so nice. It's such a fun thing to eat. They serve this a lot at church events, big holidays, uh, but really you can eat them all throughout the year. Mm, and it's got almonds in it too. Curambiedes are best enjoyed with coffee, so we stopped at Yellow Bicycle, a modern pastry shop making French pastries and serving really, really great coffee. I got myself a filtered coffee. This is gonna taste so good with the curambiedes. Dunk it in. So good. The cookies baked just to golden brown perfection all the way through. The coffee just absorbs into the cookies so well. Amazing. Hot coffee, culambiedes. It's breezy, windy today. It's actually gonna rain really soon. We just got a clap of thunder, which is not normal. We don't normally get storms here. This is the perfect 
cozy beverage and morning snack. Wow, look at this tart. Yellow Bicycle is known for their French pastries and look how beautiful this is. A perfectly refined tart. It's got pastry cream, forest berries, and powdered sugar on top. That is amazing. The pastry cream is so smooth and silky, but it really holds its shape while it's sitting on the tart. And the berries are crispy and juicy. So good. I love this tart. Look how much pastry cream you get in this tart. It's overflowing and how smooth and silky you can see the vanilla seeds in there. So beautiful. Strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, and what looks like a strawberry coulis drizzled on top with the powdered sugar. About a 10 minute walk from Artemonas is Apolonia, the largest village on the island. And we are at Cayenne restaurant. This is a place that we stopped by yesterday, just walking through the town and noticed something really special about this restaurant. The owner is the chef and he is also an artist. He actually has his art gallery on the second floor of his restaurant. This place is called Cayenne and we made a reservation yesterday because we were reading through the menu and everything just looked so delicious. He also features local and organic products from Sifnos. Here we have an eggplant salad they bring you when you sit down. Look how beautiful and fresh this bread looks. Look at that eggplant salad. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> There's a tangy creaminess to this. Seriously, I wonder how this is made because it's so smooth. But the skins of the eggplant are still in there because I can see the speckling, which really makes it beautiful. We're having their house wine from Santorini. We had this last night. It's bright, crisp, refreshing. <sighs> so good. Chilled white wine. Something amazing about this place is the moment you walk off the main path, it's like you enter another world. You're sitting on these tables with touches of red and the art on the walls, just little touches here and there that the chef puts around to kind of like awaken your eye as you're looking throughout the courtyard. It's just so thoughtfully constructed. It's beautiful. This is art. Take a second and admire this with me. The sea bream carpaccio. You have the slices of sea bream, fish roe, pumpkin sauce, tarama salata, which is a white roe salad. A beautiful green, seems like an olive oil or an infused olive oil. And the coolest thing, I've never heard of this before, these little bits you see here are popcorn made from potato. I've never heard of that. I cannot wait to try this. This is incredible. I'm gonna try to get everything in one bite, a little bit of everything in one bite. This looks like the one. And some of that pumpkin sauce on there too. Mm. Wow. Mm. It doesn't even taste like there's fish in there. That is so light and clean. The carpaccio has this beautiful butteriness to it. The tarama is so well made, smooth, just like that eggplant salad earlier. The roe, the little beads just popping your mouth. And the pumpkin sauce just adds a little bit of sweetness. This is so good. Also, there's a little bit of wasabi in there. So it adds a little bit of a kick. I love it. This is fantastic. This is the mastelo dish. In Sifnos, this is the traditional dish. The mastelo is in fact the ceramic plate. The meat inside is lamb with fries or potatoes. Sifnos has been producing and exporting ceramics for many, many, many generations. This lamb dish is cooked in the oven over a furnace in this ceramic plate. After an Easter, they cooked three kilos of lamb in a mastelo pot and served it to the community. And since then, this has been the dish of Sifnos. Look at the jus. Once again, only something you can get when baking in a ceramic dish. And I'm like swirling it around so that it touches the fries and the fries can get some of that juice too. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs>
The ceramic plate is piping hot, so I'm gonna move some of these french fries over just a little bit so I can get to the lamb. <gasps> oh my goodness, come in here, come closer. You can just see the lamb hiding in here and it's so tender and delicate. There's even jus from the lamb in there. Oh my God, look at that. Wow, that is tender lamb. I can't wait to try this. It smells phenomenal. I'm getting like these peppery oregano notes and there it's a smell in a way that can only come from being baked in a ceramic pot. Oh my God. That is a million times more than what I could have hoped for. The butteriness of the lamb. It just falls apart while you're chewing it. Fresh. You can tell this lamb came right from this island. It's extremely, extremely fresh. The jus is just kind of dancing in there with the potatoes and the juice from the lamb as it was baked. Some of the fries in the jus. Mm. Mm. Can't ask for anything better. This is grease. This is Sifnos. Wow. All right, just as I was here fawning over this incredible Mastelo dish, out comes a grilled calamari squid, beetroot puree, beetroot powder, and tomato sauce. Can we just appreciate how perfectly and delicately put together this dish is? Because then you have an entire squid here sitting over a bed of chickpeas and onions, bean sprouts, and you have a beautiful lemon and honey sauce right on top of the squid. I think I'm gonna start with the tentacles. These look so tasty. Seasoned. The beautiful colors on this. I mean, the artistry that went into pairing the colors and the flavors and cooking everything to perfection is just, it's not easy. Mm. I love it. The squid has a bit of like a little um, like a barbecue rub, almost, the flavor. Mm, a little mesquite. Mm. I'm getting some of the chickpeas. Oh. Mm. Amazing. This little light smokiness to the chickpeas, the onions that it's cooked with. I'm trying some of this beetroot puree. Mm. Wow. It looks just so fresh. Mmm. That is refreshing. Wow. There's even like a certain level of like effervescence to the flavor of the beetroot. Almost like um, kind of sits on your tongue like a, the bubbles of a sparkling wine or something like that. I don't know. This, this is magic over here. This is crazy. Going in for another bite of the squid. Oh man, look how easy this cuts. Wow. Let's get some of that beetroot puree, the tomato sauce, and a chickpea if it wants to come along for the ride. Maybe? Yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so fresh. Clean and crisp. That's incredible. At the bottom of a Mastelo dish is the reward. The jus with all the little bits left over from the lamb. Let's get into that. Oh wow. Oh man, look at that. Juice, lamb bits, a little bit of fat, and all the spices and herbs that have fallen to the bottom. Wow. So good. <laughs> so happy inside right now. All right, last bite of the sea bream carpaccio. I've cleaned the plate off with the bread and this is the last piece of fish. Just as good as the first bite. It started raining a little bit heavier, so we actually came upstairs, a restaurant split with an art gallery, and it is so cool and cozy in here. We're having melopita, a traditional dish in Sifnos, and they actually have this on the same day after Easter when they enjoy the mastelo dish that we had earlier. Melopita translates to honey pie. Chef Nicolaos has a friend who actually owns a bee farm and he harvests honey which comes to the restaurant. And here he has made his own rendition of the melopita with a egg yolk and honey mousse 
and then cream on top and cinnamon with beetroot microgreens. This is a beautiful dish and biscuit on the bottom. This looks amazing. Get a spoon help me out here with the biscuit. It's so frothy, this mousse. Wow. Mmm, mmm. So good. The honey, the eggs, frothy ribboned mousse. Mmm. You get a little bit of that cinnamon. You're really getting the flavors of Sifnos in here. This is a beautiful traditional Sifnian dessert. Mmm. So fluffy. Everything just dissolves in your mouth right away. You have a little bit of crunchiness from that biscuit, but it's a very flaky pastry of a biscuit, not heavy at all, super crunchy and light. We had a chance to sit with Chef Nicolaus, and he told us that this upstairs area is actually his studio space in the winter months when it's slow season out here in Sifnos. He uses this space as a studio in the winter months to paint, listen to music, relax and really just develop his creativity and draw inspiration for the menu of the following season. These are the type of places I want to take you guys. These are the kind of places that get me excited, that inspire me as well. When you see somebody so inspired creatively, you can't help but feel inspired yourself. And it's not reinventing the wheel. He's using the flavors of the island. He's using the Aegean agriculture to create beautiful works of art that are edible because food is art. The charm of this island just keeps coming through. Our B&B host told us about a panigiri going on today in the village of Vati. So we made it out here just in time to see some Greek dancing before it started raining. It's kind of just like sprinkling a little bit, but thundering. So they're just putting a break to the music, but panigiris are known to go on through all hours of the night. So we're just gonna stick around, hang out, and take a look at the beautiful church inside and see if things uh, start up again, if the weather permits. We're inside the like eating mess hall area because it's raining outside and it is packed with people. There's a whole mess hall behind me where people are eating and they've just started playing music again. Drinking wine, we're watching the folks cut meat, serve chickpea and bowls. And this is just really a really unique experience. This is so cool. This is a soup of bulgur wheat and beef. Wow, this looks incredible. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. All right, guys. Sifnos was an amazing island and we had some of the best food we've ever had as well as one of the funnest nights we've ever had at that panigiri in Vati. <laughs> but we couldn't help ourselves. We had to take a ferry 20 minutes away to the unspoiled island of Serifos. It's windy, it's gorgeous, it is peaceful and you guys Check this out. Look at this beach. We had a wonderful walk this morning in the town of Hora. We wanted to hit up a beach today, so we came to Siliamos. We just got on a bus, it was two euros per person, and we're at the Taverna Stefanakos Tavern here on Siliamos Beach, starting with some marinated anchovies and fried zucchini. On the Google recommendations, they said to definitely try the fried zucchini. Look how crispy these are. I can hear the crunch even over the wind. Fantastic, they manage to fry these to super crispy and still maintain crunch in the zucchini. It's not greasy, it's hot, piping hot right out of the fryer. These are the marinated anchovies. We've got some sliced garlic in there, parsley, and the olive oil, look at that, wow. I've gotta get a piece of garlic in here. I'm gonna use the bread as my plate close to my mouth so any oil that falls on there, I can have it on the bread already. We were going back and forth on whether to get the fried anchovies or the marinated anchovies. Marinated anchovies is the way to go. This is incredible. They're lemony, olive oily, parsley, garlic. So good. 
This is the best part. You gotta dunk the bread in the olive oil. The last dish that we ordered for this wonderful light lunch we're having today is fried pork chunks. And it comes with more olive oil because you can never have enough. Peppers and these wonderful chunks. I can smell the dried oregano coming off of this right now. They look so good. Let's try that. Fantastic. Greeks have figured out every perfect way to cook pork. This is one of them. There's not a lot to it. The fresh pork, oregano, some salt, pepper, and the bell peppers to add a little bit of a, a veggie sweetness to it. So good. Making sure we get all of this garlic olive oil on here. <laughs> wow. They brought us some chocolate covered ice cream cones for dessert. Perfect for this sunny beach day. Mm. <laughs> mm, so good. I always see these in the freezers, in the pastry shops and bakeries. I've never actually had one. It's really good. <laughs> Perfect amount of ice cream. The beach was amazing. We're back in the port town and we're at Bakaki for dinner. This is a steakhouse restaurant. They don't even serve fish here. And we're starting with the Sviakopita. This looks wonderful. It's a mix of cheeses in a bread dough, fried and then topped with honey. This honey on here looks amazing. This amber emerald. Wow. Serifos is also known for their thyme honey. I think this is it. This tastes amazing. On top of the cheese, nice and hot, fresh out of the fryer. Mm. It's crunchy. The music has started. I love it. I really, really wanted to order the tacos bakaki. This is a salad with tomato, oven bread, feta cheese, capers, and olives. Got the oven bread. They call this rusks here. And then this tomato that's like freshly grated tomato with uh, possibly garlic and maybe some olive oil. Feta, the kalamata olives, and capers. This is everything I love in one bite. Food made for a Greek island where you go to the beach every day. We ordered their beef steak today. They also brought us a, um, a butter to pour over the steak, but I'm just gonna dip it in first. It's parsley, butter, garlic, dill, and oregano. Wow, <laughs> check that out. Man, that looks good. Server recommended this, this is awesome. And that butter, it's got so much dill flavor in there. Makes it even more buttery. You already know dill is buttery. Mm. Look how perfectly fried these fries are. In Greece, they fry them a lot, mostly in uh, sunflower oil. You can tell this steak was marinated for some time after it was seasoned with salt, before it was thrown on the grill. It's almost cured. It has this lovely saltiness that runs through the steak itself, not just on the outside. All right, we walked just down the street to scoop. This is a cafe ice cream shop and Lucumades shop. Lucumades are fried dough balls and they're either stuffed or plain or they have different types of chocolate and toppings. This is their classic and it's stuffed with bueno filling. If you've ever heard of the Kinder Bueno candy, it's similar to that with praline on top and then biscuit crumbles. Wow, very good. Really, really good. Fresh, hot, right out of the fryer, lucumales. I was curious to see how they would fill them. There's this like siphon with a needle and they insert the lucumade, fill them, and move on to the next. They do it by hand every single time. We've got the last lucumade here. Mm, that was so good. The perfect ending to our wonderful meal and the perfect wrap up for our tour through Sifnos and Serifos. 
My friends, it has been wonderful going on this journey with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any more recommendations. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll see you guys on the next one.